Hello, everybody. This is Jeff at Obedia here to give you what is new inside of Studio One. Now, we are looking at Studio One for Professional. And the biggest change that you're going to find in Studio One for is the GUI. That is the Graphic User Interface. The contrast of the colors, the deep saturation of the colors, the sharper edges. This is all going to make for a better experience visually. I'm going to hit create a new song. You're going to see key signature. Now, the key signature is just like the tempo and the time signature, and we can add in a key looking at a circle of fifths with our major and our minor chords. I'm going to click OK. Already at the bottom, you will see key has been added next to timing and tempo. The first thing that I noticed when I opened up Studio One 4 is the look of the tracks. So let's go ahead and create five tracks. As you can see on the track, you'll notice the font is a little bit different. You also have some deeper shadows and blacks all over your Studio One interface. Looking at the icons has a better contrast with solid whites and black edges. If you open up the mix window, you'll notice that the faders are also slightly different. Your icons and buttons have been rearranged. This mute solo monitor and record button used to be vertical along the track. Now they are up top with the panning and the fader level. Right here, we have our insert, sends, and mix effect icons that allow us to see if any of these channels are connected with any of those. To give an example, I'm gonna click this box, which used to be the drop down arrow in Studio One 3. I'm gonna add an insert, and as you see, the blue lights up. The same way if we added a bus. We also have our macro control for our channel editor and the font difference as you can see. Now something special inside the channel strip is if you click the wrench tool, we can now show and hide our IO, which is our input and outputs. That gives a little bit more real estate when we're trying to focus on our mixing with our panning and faders. The other thing that comes with Studio One 4 is channel notes. So as you see at the bottom, I can enter in notes for each channel and use them for whatever I would like to. So as you can see, every channel has the ability to add notes under them. This can be useful for labeling which microphone was used for which channel, mix notes when given to another engineer, and so forth. Not only did they add an addition to add the key, they created the core track. Just like your arranger and your marker track, we can now label the chord progression as it moves in Studio One. As you see, I have labeled the first bar to be a C major chord and the second one to be a D flat minor. Now let's move on to my favorite part of Studio One 4, which will be the instruments, in the newly designed Impact and Sample 1. Opening Impact, I was immediately blown away just by the looks alone. Not only that, the first thing I noticed was each pad has a different note input specifically. The first pad now starts with C1, which now allows you to follow the general MIDI set for a lot of other software MIDI implementations when it comes to virtual instruments. This means that on your typical 49 keyboards, the C1 is now your first note. This also means on your drum pads, the bottom pad is usually set to C1. This should automatically line up and trigger the C1 inside of impact. We have eight banks to choose from, to toy with, tweak with, and mess with. This is also helpful for any other manufacturers that might start their pads at a different octave, but generally they start at C1. Now, not only did they update impact, they also updated sample one. So sample one has the same exact look as impact. Now there's probably a lot more inside of impact and sample one, but we'll save that for another video. The last thing that you might find different in Studio One 4 is the layout of the color palette. The color palette now extends horizontally. And as you see, the colors are a lot more vibrant than its Studio One 3 counterpart. 
Now, that's all the updates I have found in Studio One 4, and I'm sure many of you might be eager to go ahead and dive into Studio One right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Jeff at Obedia. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.